Hey y'all, so I'd just like to start off by saying thank you to Brother Haney for giving me the chance to speak to you all, to Devin who reached out to me for this opportunity, and to anybody else that thought of me. I just wanted to say thank you. Um, I thought that I might do things a little bit differently. As some of you may know, I love all things that have to do with art. And recently during quarantine, I've had the time to do a lot more art, specifically sidewalk chalk art. Usually it's just me and my thoughts while I'm doing chalk. It got me thinking about how in God's eyes, we are works of art in progress. When we start out, we are blank canvases. Who and what we will become is unknown, but the amount of time and effort we put into developing our walk with God will ultimately determine if we're a simple sketch or if we're a masterpiece. I think that God wants us all to be a masterpiece. Ephesians 2.10 in the New Living Translation says that we are God's masterpiece. I think that there are a few important principles to becoming a masterpiece. The first of those is that it may seem overwhelming to get started creating a piece of art. You may feel like you aren't qualified, like you don't have the abilities to do the job, or like maybe you don't even know what the finished product will be. But don't get caught up in what you aren't, because God knows the finished product, and He knows that you will be able to do it. All masterpieces start with that first stroke of the brush, or chalk in this case. <laughs> you have to start somewhere, and little by little, line by line, something will start to develop from nothing. Your masterpiece is going to take time, because good things take time. You can't expect to create a work of art in just five minutes. Just like how in life you have to work slowly at your goals. You have to have a consistent plan that's going to work for you. Second, when starting a work of art, you start with base structures or outlines. The time and effort we put into the base structure will ultimately determine how the finished product will look. In Living for God, I think this comes from reading the word and praying daily. Laying that groundwork allows for you to build on that foundation. Without it, the finished product would be very disorganized. The outlines create boundaries that the colors and details live within. We have boundaries that we must set in Living for God in order for us to be the masterpiece that God has planned. Some may think coloring outside the lines is its own form of art, but no one knows what the final product is. It's confusing to look at. When living within the lines, everyone around you can see that you are a masterpiece of God's design. Third, you are going to make mistakes. It's just going to happen. But don't let that cause you to get frustrated and quit. You may even in this video see times where I messed up with the chalk and I had to go back in and fix it. But with chalk specifically, water can wash away whatever mistakes you've made. It's the same with God. You can have a fresh start with repentance and Jesus name water baptism. All your past mistakes can be washed away. 1 John 1 9 says that if we confess of our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Don't let a past mistake hold you back or discourage you. I said all this to say that at times, things will get tough. You may get halfway through finishing the product and something may come up that makes you want to quit. Storm clouds may roll in and you worry that all your hard work will be washed away. But I encourage you today, don't quit. Philippians 4.13 says that I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. So whatever you're worried about, <laughs> goodness knows there's plenty to worry about these days, don't give up because God is on your side and my God always wins. I know that God's got this and I truly believe that there's beauty in the process of becoming a masterpiece. So never give up because good things take time. Thank you. <laughs>